hope um, from our perspective, it is not given to you. Um, it is a decision that you make. It's not a wish, okay? It is not a wish. It is something that I do today to empower myself for tomorrow. No matter how successful a society is, there's always those who are left behind. How can we uplift the families who are starting life with less? My name is Edna. I'm actually a volunteer with Kabong Baru Community Club. I hate the Uplift program that helps young families with young children uh, who actually come from the low income bracket. And many of these families feel that, no, I will not make it because my mother or my parents uh, were already in this vicious circle of uh, poverty. There is still a lot of hope up there. You have a lot of avenue uh, to progress, to be like any one of the average Singaporeans. Befriending elderly is different from giving uh, free food once a year, you know, you deliver free food and then you say bye-bye, you see them once. For us, it is a commitment. We become their friends. We have to build up trust between uh, the elderly and us. It's so, so heartening that when we walk there, they remember us. That's what we wanted. The society is very complex, it's interesting, it's diverse. And the more you bring the outside world in and the inside world out, you see the results. And in my centre, the world comes in. So we will be working with, let's say, Mr. Henry Quack, or the scientist or the engineer, Mr. Lim Singh, who wants to send uh, his spacecraft into space. Or they could be working with a world-class conductor uh, like Wang Kachun. They could be working with a flamenco dancer like Miss Antonio Vargas. Now, the child can do this code switching juggling very, very well, and it's comfortable. So it is a school or a centre where we say there are no walls. People walk in and the children walk out. So the more you open up these boundaries and the more porous you make it, then beautiful things happen. This program actually brings together student mentor volunteers, adult volunteers, and we connect them with, with children uh, who need help with their academic journeys. Um, so we run homework clinics, uh, we run consultations, and hopefully um, this idea of the older kids helping the younger kids will teach both parties valuable lessons. How do you create people who can do? All people can do. But if we keep telling them, you can't do this, you can't do that, then we are building a community of people who believe that I can't do, I can't achieve. But everybody can be somebody. And this requires a whole different mindset change. A mindset change where you look at what people, in our case children, can do. Just because we adults feel that these children are not performing to standard set by society that you have to get your A's in, in um, your academic subjects but we cannot write them off. You, we have to find a way to actually hone a talent that may have not been discovered by them or by their parents or by the community. So it's all about finding that little thing that they're very interested in and giving the opportunity to them. And the problem now is that a lot of children, they do not have the opportunity because a lot of us in society, we are telling them what we want them to excel in without letting them show us what they can do. Somehow, when I'm in Hope Collective, right, I feel like home. Because it's like everyone has the same uh, mindset. They are not expecting anything in return. It's more of just coming here and then to, to try to give everything they could with whatever they have. We as a community, as a volunteer, we are also hand-holding these families to tell them that we are working with you. We, we feel you and we know, so we are helping you walk that way through. The marvellous thing about this our social work of one tree work, you will meet the right people. It all started with an idea, but I never knew whether to succeed or not. 
But somehow, after 10 months, we so successful that I want to go one step further. The most important thing about doing right and doing charity work is has to come from your sincerity. What motivates our team? What motivates them to put hours and hours of hard work when they can be with family or friends or can be focusing on their careers? They would share many stories of how their own lives get transformed when they help others. How the people that they serve inspire themselves to be better people. If you're willing to come down to look at, to see this family, in every small way, just to sit down, listen to the kids, spend some time with the children, spend some time with the mothers, is, is as good, it's very good for me because I need as much help. Come join us. It can be a bit messy, it can take a bit of time, but it'll be fulfilling and we have a great team. And together, we can build a beautiful Kalambara. Thank you.